I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We just we don't really have like a worry, honestly. Hey, my name is Drasson and I'm a pro PUBG player for Ghost Gaming. So we got new two players on the team, uh, Dressel and Fraliga. Fraliga we brought with us to PGL in Romania and had a good time with him there. Then Dressel joined us approximately a month ago um, and it's been going super well. Um, we've regained confidence, people like don't hesitate anymore and we all fit each other a bit more personality wise. Uh, what I think I bring to the Ghost PUBG team is um, I think I'm a pretty good all-around player. Uh, my team has been giving me snipers, so when they give me uh, the sniper, I really get in the zone and I know that I need to get a knock uh, for us to move in or uh, create an opportunity on the team. I also uh, stay as positive as I can uh, and uh, to cheer up the team even when uh, we have bad games. I guess how I ended up on Ghost was um, after being released from my previous team, uh, I really worked a lot harder and dedicated uh, more time towards the game. And I think that my name kind of shone a little bit and uh, my boy McCoy uh, noticed and brought me in for some tryouts and that's kind of how that got started. Frolicker and Drassel, they're pretty nice. You know, I met them both previously at LANs before on different teams though. Frolicker has been with us for PGL. But this is the first time Drassel has been with us, like in person. So they're nice people, and Frolicker is a new IGL, so he brings new things to the table. And then Drassel is our new sniper, so he opens up those frags for us. Uh, I was really excited to get the opportunity to try out for the Ghost PUBG team. I knew all the players on that team were very skilled, very uh, capable of taking a championship. And ever since I moved out here, um, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, Drassel was actually a player we talked about. Um, for a while. We tried out a ton of different uh, players over the course of about three months. Dressel is a really, like, he's a stand-up guy. He's super heavy. He brings a lot of, not humor, but a good attitude to the team. Fraligar is a, is a kind of old guy, but he's super experienced, and that brings a lot of, like, you can lean on something, and that's a really good aspect. Uh, at first, uh, joining the team, it was a little bit um, touch and go, just because it was like a brand new roster. We had never really played with each other, but um, working with such uh, like dedicated players made it a lot easier and everybody like pushed forward to adapt and, and learn new things together as like a, a whole team. And uh, with the newest edition of Drassel, uh, I think everybody's ready to take it to the next level. We've gotten really good practice. We've been scrimming every single night, consistently. Every time there are scrims, we've been in them. Uh, we've been really good about that, and they've been playing consistent from start to finish every night. You know, they haven't gotten lazy. They've been putting in the work, and every single time, definitely uh, discussing what we've done, the issues that we may have had in a game, or our successes and things of that nature. So Dresla and Fraliga came in for the boot camp, and we've just been working on getting on the same page, uh, running stuff that we weren't good at in scrims trying to spend more time together, get to know each other on a different level than just being online. And it's been going super well so far. We feel super confident going into the qualifiers. Uh, I think that one thing that our team has that others don't is a lot of good humor and chemistry that will kind of carry us together as a team. And we can still be on a professional level at the same time as well, enjoying ourselves to the fullest. Squid. Yellowtail, Halibut, Fatty Salmon, Salmon and Tuna, and Snow Crab. It's perfect. <laughs> that was really The reason NPL qualifiers are important to us is because it grants us access to the NPL League, which is a five-week league that would run over three splits every year. Um, and that's pretty much the highest tier of PUBG, PUBG you can play. 
Uh, NPL next week to me means literally everything. Uh, I don't have any other way to explain it other than this is what I want, this is what I work for, and I'm gonna get it. So NPL qualifiers is gonna be a bit different this time. It's the first time we see 32 teams at an event. So we're gonna have alternating lobbies, and I think that will play into our strengths because we're used to playing a lot of different tournaments against EU, Russia, our own region, South America, etc. So I feel we play really well into a lobby that's not, everything's not set in stone. We're good at like adapting and doing different stuff. We don't have like set plays and tilt when someone is like trying to disturb our path or something like that. Getting to Pro League, like that's the ultimate goal, right? You want to get into Pro League. You want to be one of those teams that's com competing for a chance to go to Worlds or a chance to go overseas to play against the best teams from Europe and Asia and all that. And I think that's definitely where this team's at. This is step one of that process. So getting in is huge, right? And then once we do that, it's all focus on the future. Uh, honestly, as a team, we're feeling pretty confident heading into the NPL qualifiers. Uh, we've had some little issues with our communication, but besides that, we've been playing pretty solid, and uh, I think we're going to get really good results at the NPL qualifiers. Uh, I think we're prepared. It's top 16 out of 32, and most teams going aren't that good, so we should be good. I think we'll get at least top 10. Like we're, we're not worried. We're certain that we're going to qualify. Um, we might have some ups and downs, but with the new lineup, we're like a top three team for sure in our region.